Hello? Uh, uh. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Well, that was a bit strange, wasn't it? And look at you. Look, we're not going to just get past. Yes, we've had some technical difficulties, but now we've got a new angle. Yes. We have what a new think? angle. What do you think? It's good. It's it's different. There's no painting falling on the back of your head, so it looks a bit strange. No, I was I was going to do that, but I thought that was just being a bit silly. You have an iPod, an iPad tripod now. You have a tripod. A tripod. Yes, I do. I do. Congratulations. Yes, you're. So, so you're do happening. you think it looks? Do you think it looks good? I think it looks good, but we can't spend too long talking about how it looks. It's too meta, you know. Yeah, but I. I think the background's boring. Well, that's what I, I think we all miss when you just had something leaning against the back of your head. Just to, you know, maybe you could just put a magazine over your head or something. Should I, should I put something in the background now? Do you want me to? A picture? Yeah, I think that would help to dress up the background a little bit. Just okay, it's, right. Oh, gosh, don't kick the tripod. No, just wait there. Wait there. Okay. I'll don't get take long now. No, I'll get a different picture. Well, don't. Wait. So it is going to be a picture. Well, I, I think so. What do you think? Wait a minute. Let's see. Let's I got to see it. Tell me what you think. Oh, that's natural. Wait a minute. Tell me. That's nice. Let's sit in front of Shall that. I, get, I think there's one. To, I've got one to match that. Shall I do a matching pair? I like it busy. So, yeah, I would say get another one and let's let's really busy it up back there just to. I mean, we've I, seen now there's just so many interview show, shows that take place from your home. It's nice to have something going on back there. You know, books you've read or or two pictures yeah. well, that just I, came off of your I, wall. I could do some books that I've read. Look, but really, in a way, well, sit, it, sit, should, sit. I, should I prop them on well, something? No, 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 that's prop good. Just them. sit in front of that. And we'll see how that looks. I think it's going to look perfect. Let's see. Oh, that's smashing. That's lovely. What do you that's, think? That's love. That's think? perfect. Now, don't lean too far back because you'll ruin the aesthetic. Should I pull them a bit apart? No, no, no. We'll leave, let's leave them there. I think we've nailed it. We've nailed it. Do you? All right. Yeah, you've, got got a small, you've got a small frame there now. Uh, not Have the I? pictures you're filming. It's tight. You're in a tight frame. You're in what we'd call a tight shot. Do um, I look at distant? Yeah, right now you're in a medium. When you move in, you're in a tight. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, oh, it's Hollywood oh, speak. Um, uh, how are you? Uh, I'll have to get these phrases. Um, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm well. And you've had, since we last spoke, you've had your jab, your vaccination, yes. your first shot. Yes, yes. You survived I've, I've, so far? No third arms yeah, or extra toes? Yeah. No, and I haven't. And you move to... things with your mind? Um, well. Are you able to run any faster? No, no. Has the no. gleaning and the scrumping been easier? Have you been able to steal potatoes with a faster clip? No, I, I think what's happened is I think, I think reality's kicked in and I've realized that I mustn't do it. So the jab's done that to me. Oh, so the jab has sort of given you a dose of honesty. Because see, what yeah. I think is that I think that you're, I don't think it's done that. I think you're saying that because you've now publicly outed yourself as a, as a thief. And, yes. and you are trying to put the cat back in the bag, the genie back in the bottle. Yes, I think that's probably, well, I don't want to, I don't want to, all your fans to think that you follow me by being a thief. I do, I do not follow in your footsteps by being a thief. No, no. Your lifestyle, just, I've seen your lifestyle, it's too much. Yeah, but can I just say, though, how nice you look without your beard? Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Are you getting, and I think you're just getting a little touch of stubble. Well, it's bound to, it's, I don't think once you shave it, it stops growing. I've, I, I don't know much about the human body, but I don't think, uh, no, I think once but, you shave it, it's, I think it'll come back to some extent. That's what you're saying. I do like, I do like the bit of designer stubble I can see, though. I think it's very good. Good. That's my background. So that's that's my <laughs> pictures in the background. So thank you. You also look very lovely. I love your necklace. Very lovely. Lovely top. This is my mother's. This came from a charity shop. This, this was my mum's. When you and, say and charity shop, that just means you stole it, right? For you? No, no, no. That's oh, just no, like some don't. of your orphans speak. Yeah, we've done taking it off at a charity shop. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. <laughs> Um, no, he came. It was um, no. I paid for it. You, you pay for stuff. It's like goodwill in America. I like know, goodwill. Right. We're just having yeah. some fun. Yeah. Um, but look, 
that that was my mum's and it was really funny when she gave it me it had a picture of Nick and a picture of my brother Anthony in it and she kept saying to me I want you to have that because that's your two boys <laughs> she thought you were Anthony <laughs> you know what I remember once not Nan but Granny my other grandmother I remember her on my like four months before my 11th birthday sending me a happy 10th birthday card <laughs> and I was like what the hell is going on um that's it <laughs> Yeah. Well, Mom, we should get to it because we do want to do some pictures. But uh, okay. today I've got uh, a, 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 a segment, another idea. A surprise. A surprise. Have you so, got a person under a no, bag? No, no, no. No, you've had people the last couple of weeks. You've been spoiled by people. There's no people. It's just you and I. I hope that's okay. Yes, but, no, it's uh, fine. I asked, no, uh, do you think I'm a bit slap, too slap? I think you're a bit interrupty. <laughs> So, am I a bit slouchy? You're a bit Should grouchy. I... No, you're no, good. So... You're good. You look good. Well, what do you want to do? You want to sit up a little more? What is that? Careful, you got those pictures. Yeah, that's no, because now your head's up. See, that's what I was saying. You got a tight frame. You can't do that. Ah, oh, but you there see, you look oh, that's perfect. There we go. All right, don't get too cocky now. Right. So, um, I asked people to send in questions if they had any questions for you. <gasps> oh, heck. I can tell you're excited. Oh, heck. I'm good Do at reading I'm people, not? and I know when you're excited because I've spent a lot of time with When you go, ah, that means you're ready, you're happy, you're excited for something. I'm bothered because I'm not the, the cleverest of people. And I, well, I no, 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 these are, these are not, these are not, this is not like a scholastic exam. Oh, these okay, are like good. life questions. These are just sort oh, of good. advice questions and things of that nature. Advice? Well, something like that. So, so let, let, let's let's well that some some actually hint at that. Um, yeah. Okay, let, let's start with an easy one. So, Mum, what 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 is the best kind of treat when you're stuck inside on a dark and stormy day? Best kind of treat, yeah. and you're stuck inside. Like, what would um, you do to reward? Like, you're you're stuck inside. You can't go out and steal food and produce. You've got to have yeah. something. You what what would you have? Anything. Well, I'm, I'm very lucky because I, I can go on my treadmill that you bought me, my lovely son bought me, and I can, um, uh, I think I would just cook myself something nice, very healthy. Well, what, okay, but let's say you're going to have a chocolate or a, I, I mean, I know what I think you would have. Yes, I would have, I would have a chocolate. Mm, or? Or a jelly baby. Or a jelly baby, because you have mm. a what? I have a... Uh, a fetish for jelly babies. You don't have a fetish. You have an addiction. I like jelly babies. You eat yes. a lot of jelly babies. Well, I like jellies. I like the taste of jellies. Yes. Actually, when I gave you CBD, it was in jellies. And that was a fatal flaw because you just ate them like they were regular jellies and they're CBD. But you weren't sure oh. if anything was happening. No, but I, but I absolutely, you sent me those elderberry ones and I love them. And I, and the, and the vitamin D3 ones, they're fruity. And, oh, they're just I like... I know how to get you to take your vitamins. You see how we... Oh. I am now giving you tasty vitamins so that you'll take them. Yes, yes. Oh, I love them. I wish okay. you could do the... I want to chewy vitamin C the next time. All right, we'll, we'll get that. We'll Those are like great horse pills. They get stuck in my throat. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um... <laughs> Okay, well, so I'll answer for you with a jelly baby because I know you love yeah. jelly babies. Yes, right. Okay, lovely. Um, what is the best, and a few people asked a version of this question, what's the best vegetable to scrump for each season? Ah, ah. Well, this is rather interesting, actually, because um, I went yesterday. You know, I've been going to that, that um, dermatology place. Yeah. Well, as my sister and I were leaving there yesterday, we noticed a sprout farm. Oh, no. And that would be a winter vegetable. Well, it was a bit cold. We didn't feel like going in. But, but you thought, blocked it. Well, yes. Oh, you boy, you did cased we. the joint, as you say, as you yeah. I, people say. Hillary saw it, you know, and she saw it. she's the eyes of the operation. Well, she said that we could have a big stick each, you know, one of those big sticks each. And I said, oh, no, I wouldn't need many. We'll just, I'll have a handful. You have the rest. But anyway, we're going to see how we can get into the field when we're together the next time. So anyway, so that's a winter vegetable. Sprouts, that's a new one to add to the list. Um, asparagus would be for the spring. Uh, okay, asparagus. Um, 
Yeah, summer, um, you can sometimes get apples because they fall on the floor or if there's nobody looking, you can sort of reach some tree. the floor, do you mean the ground? Yes, I mean on the ground, yeah. But I mean, okay, let's... <laughs> yeah, but sometimes you never shake the tree. <laughs> Will you honestly shake trees like cartoon characters? Um, I have been known to do that, yes. Okay, yes. so, anyway, so, so that... winter sprouts, spring asparagus, summer apples, fall oh, taters? This... There's four potatoes, yes, yes, definitely. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. Yeah. very, very eye-opening answer, I'll say that. Yes, um, and, the, and the other day I saw some sheep eating turnips in a field, but I couldn't get through. How long until it... one of you is wearing a sheep costume? <laughs> Two months? That's no, got to be we... close. It would be how to get into the field, and you feel well, a bit bad. Why... That... The Why sheep is feel... so sweet well they're so sweet and you wouldn't want to frighten them well that's you why know, you guys will wear a sheep costume in my head um yeah uh gareth okay this is an advice okay so gareth at age 18 question mark i think that's just a reference my son has just done and sometimes i think he gets what we've taught him uh yet other times he's a total dumbass and this is said with a mother's love should i be concerned uh, do they grow out of this at least a little? So I think what she's basically asking is when I was 18 or around there, was I like a total idiot? And were you like, I'm not sure how this is going to work out with this person. <laughs> like, were you, were you sort of like, I don't, I don't feel I'm a little worried that this person is not, not maybe not all there, but it's a tough world out there. Did you feel anything like that? I think by 18, um, you personally had turned a corner. I'd, I'd had all my struggles with you the years before. Right. Um, and so I think by, I, I think by 18, but, you suddenly got, got school. And, um, and the same with Nick, I think. You were both by 18, 19. Um, maybe 19 were, were, were really, really good. Was, was there, was there a time when you thought that I was like, just, I don't want to, I mean, I'm not saying the dumbass, that's what she says, but, but you know what I mean? Like dumbass, like you were sort of like this <laughs> kid is like, cannot get his shit together. Like he's, a, you know, there was that time, obviously. Oh yes. I think definitely. I think every parent feels that, you know, you just think. I think you, you got know. an extreme dose. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> Um, so that's what I would say. To, I mean, the truth is that, you know, if you have if you have kids, of course, you're going to be concerned. I mean, I even talked to friends of mine yes. who have kids who are doing well and they're they're yeah. like, yeah, but they they don't tie their shoelaces. Right. And you're like, it's OK. It's not a huge you know, flaw. Um, OK, this is a good one. I thought, what is a little Garfi exactly? People are curious where the hell that came from. Oh, well, it came from that. Uh, we talked about that. It came from that, um, from Angie calling you Garfi. From a show. Um, from that, yes, from a show, Birds of a Feather. Birds of a Feather. And Angie came up with it. And then, and then I don't know, then we just switched it to Little Garfi because you were little. Um, don't even think I little. I mean, maybe I, I guess I was compared to the rest of the people we were running. Yes, yes. But, uh, but uh, um, a Little Garfi, yes, it was... Um, it was just and a that's very one sweet. of your favorite shirts to wear, your little Garfi shirt. Oh, I love to wear that shirt. And your bag. And my bag, yes, and my bag. Yeah, and, and Nigel, loves, Ni Nigel loves those bags too. Nigel, who does not find me entertaining on, in any of the things I've done publicly, <laughs> still will use the merch. Um, he really left the bag in my car the other day and he was saying, where's, where's the pink bag? The pink so he won't bag. Even, he, won't <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even identify that it's Jose on it. He just goes, there's a bloody pink bag. Um, okay, my Super Bowl question. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl, the Chiefs or the Bucks? Chiefs or the Bucks? Oh. The Bucks Super is short for the Buccaneers, the Super Bowl, yeah. The Super Bowl, that's... Yeah. That basketball isn't it Bucks. no 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 the chiefs are chief, the, the kansas city chiefs or the tampa bay buccaneers are the two football teams oh 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 well i know that the buccaneers won wow i was gonna go ahead and let you guess and then tell you you were wrong or that the game no. happened, but you no. have done the old switcheroo duty yes 
Uh, I think this one is a bit of a cut to it, on, uh, but whatever. Um, is buying a cat a good replacement for a social life? No, I don't no. think so. No, I think that I person's calling me a loser is what I think that is. <laughs> I don't uh, think so. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's a roundabout way. I think that question's aimed at you then, not me. <laughs> I, I, target, I, not even aimed, targeted. <laughs> yeah. um, and the answer is yes. It's a great, it's, I, I mean, I will say, I, I think having an animal to any capacity, you don't have any animals, which always astounds me, but I think having an animal to any capacity, it does give you like an additional life form around you that you feel a connection to. So it's, you know, I think it is, a, it's not a replacement, but it's not a bad addition. I, th I think, um, I think because we had loads of animals we when you and Nick were young. And I you, think. Wait, real that, quick. Okay, so tell that oh, and then I'm going to ask you a question. Only because since I've been in England, because I want to keep coming back to visit you and Nick, um, I don't think it's good for me to, to have an animal that I think that's I would fair do. point. Yeah, you know. Now, will you, very quickly, just let's take a time out from the advice. Will you yeah. tell us the story about when you. You claim to have seen a cat with wings on our porch. Oh, I did. I did. It was a black cat. With? And it was wings. I know it sounds absolutely stupid. Do you know? No. But do you know? I think it is. I mean, I kept saying this to you and Nick. I think it was a so crow? matted. It was, it was a feral cat, I think. And I think it was so matted that it had grown, you know, these mats were sticking out like this. And they but looked you like- You saw the cat fly. You just saw a cat, oh, a no. winged cat. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no. Nothing no. wild like that. No, 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 no. 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 I'm no, not no, that. my friend, I'm not crazy. I'm not that balmy. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I think it was, I think when I think about it, you, you know, you know how Matty long hair, and I think it was a long haired cat and I think it was all Matty. And it had wings. Um, and it, Yes. Uh, okay, someone wants to know if you would ever use your accent on Yanks to get out of trouble. So would you <laughs> get into your English accent for uh, personal gain or benefit? Would you ever use it as an advantage? No, I mean, I used to think sometimes I, in, in Wisconsin, I might get away with a speeding ticket, but I never did. No? <laughs> I but think a couple of times I did. Once, once I got stopped, I, I honestly didn't know what I was doing. The policeman pulled me over. We hadn't been in America long. And, um, and he pulled me over and, and he said, do you know why I've pulled you over? And I, I said, no, I didn't have a clue. And he said, I was tailgating. I didn't even know what tailgating was. So I said, I, I, I'm really sorry, but I don't know what tailgating is. And, is, and I did get that, away he with- He accused you of showing up to the Packer game too early and cooking in the parking lot. That's <laughs> I, mean, I did get off with that because I think he looked. I think he genuinely, genuinely believed me. But I, and I did. But I remember genuine. when I remember when I was a kid. You would, you know, every most places you would go, people would say, "I love your accent." Where are you from? London. Yeah. Like that would happen yeah. a lot. Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm actually from Starbridge. <laughs> I just had elocution there. <laughs> no, would be at TJ Maxx. Your favorite <laughs> yeah. stores. TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Tuesday morning. Oh, I love the Marshalls. Marshalls too. Yep, Marshalls. Mm. On Marshalls Tuesday on morning. Tuesday morning was my top favorite. You love for, Tuesday morning. For home things, yes, yes, yes. Um, okay. Uh, if 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 someone was this person wants to know if they were having a panic attack, uh, what would you say to help them out? So, if someone's having a panic attack. What would you say? <laughs> what would I say? <laughs> That's not a good start, but I'm just laughing. It, I, I, I would say, how do you know you're having a panic, panic attack? Good. That always helps the person in panic. Yes. Yeah. Of, What's stressing uh, no. you out? It should be. <laughs> think about it's that only, thing. It's all in your mind. <laughs> no, no, I would be kind, I think. What would you say? Yeah. Um, I would say... Um, Here, right now, I'm having a panic attack. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> come, and, come, and, come and sit down. Come on, I'm come sitting sit down. down. I'm sitting down. Ah. Let's, ah. Let's, let's talk this through. Are you All right. Well, yeah. What? What should we say? I'm, I'm having a panic attack right now. What do you want to talk about? Are you feeling sick? 
I, I mean, I feel I'm having a panic attack. It's really stressful. I need just some help. Uh, shall I? Shall I get the doc? Shall I get the doctor? What? What is this? The 1820s? He lives next door. What? I mean, I need your fucking help, lady. <laughs> oh, shall I get a doctor? Shall I get a doctor? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not very good at that stuff. My, you just you know, go, it's I'm... all right. Breathe, breathe. There you go. Don't listen. I know it's stressing you out. Just relax. Here, okay. Back, lay down. Just breathe. Whatever it is, it's not so bad. Just take a few breaths. You don't need to do anything for like the next half hour. Just relax. Mm-hmm. relax. And, then, really- and then I'll rush next door and see if I can find the apothecary. <laughs> and I'll, I'll go and get the doctor while you're lying down there on the floor. Uh, let me give you the hammer to the head. All right. Find the doctor. Um, this is a weird one. How often does Gareth get a hug? Do you feel like this number is too many or too few or just right? I don't know if that's in reference to you or my general hug count. I think you're, you're a very huggy person. Yeah, we hug. You and I give hugs. Yes. Every yes, time we see each other, we give a hug. Yes. Um, yes. What are the best shoes to wear when taking, I mean, enjoying the farm bounty of someone else? <laughs> Oh, you, you need mudproof shoes, heavy shoes, boots, yes. wellies, really, Wellington boots. But you need tight wellies, otherwise your foot will come out of the wellie. Yeah, I saw this lady today, actually, when I was walking, and she's told me there's a place in Stourbridge. She's got these, they look like wellies. I mean, I wouldn't want them all the time, but they do for all the mud. And they're wellies with really strong um, bottoms. And she said her feet are lovely and warm, and they've got, like, traction on the bottom. And then inside... They've got a fleecy zip lining. So the boots are rubber. So this is, you're telling me this right after I got you another pair of boots. You're like, I, no, today no, I they, saw the best boots. No, they, no, these are completely Isn't it weird just, that the store Boots it, doesn't sell boots? Yeah, it is, isn't it really? It's silly. Oh. Yeah, but no, no, these, these but these, this, what, these are what I re- would recommend. And apparently anybody that's interested, Sowerby's in Stourbridge carries them, 20 pounds. Would, so, would, you, would you ever let people go scrumping with you would you ever charge a fee oh no i'd love them to come be lovely you would just love people to freely Ooh, come yes i'd like to share the free merchandise yes of course share the bounty <laughs> that has nothing to do with you and also people might have better tips on how to do it sure you know. yeah get a groupie out there yeah. that's no. gonna be a lot of sheep costumes sounds um, lovely uh Okay, who are three people you'd love to have di- a dinner party with from history? Oh, that's interesting. Um, very interesting. From history. Um, hmm, who would I have? You can just do one would, if that's easier. I wouldn't want them to be too clever, but I'd sort of be fascinated to have sh- William Shakespeare because I, I'd like to know whether he spoke that very old English. That, Actually... Um, they, they think that that, that the, the way the accent sounded them was a lot like a Boston accent. Was it? Yeah, I have a standard. Uh, but, but they did something like, like the fuzz were fuzz, and it was um, that very old English. So I'd be very interested in, in his accent. Okay. Um, I wouldn't be very intellectual with him. Um, you're and very then worried, I would like- very worried about meeting the intellect of who you have this meal with. Yes, well, yes, because I'd be able to fluff through it to a certain level, but I so, wouldn't. So you're you're worried that we're going to reanimate a dead person from history, and then they're just going to out IQ you? Oh well, they would anyway, wouldn't they? <laughs> but they wouldn't be able to get potatoes. That's right. Yeah, what are they going to eat exactly? They wouldn't the have that skill. Yeah, um, that's no, right. I think of somebody else. I mean, I think I think I would like to have somebody religious as well. Um, why? Why I'm, someone religious? Because I would be very interested in their views, and I think it would... Um, It'd be very interesting uh, for them to be like, oh, yeah, none of that shit came true. No, well, that, and that's what it would be nice. I'd just like to listen, because I do, I do find that quite interesting. Okay, so we'll um, have Shakespeare and John Paul II over for dinner? Yes, okay. that sounds lovely. Now we got yeah. two. Why don't we just add a third? Who's our third? Do we do a third one? Um, maybe somebody like... Um, uh, like, uh, let me think, who are the actors I liked in the old days? Right. Um, uh, maybe a Cary Grant. Okay. So Bill Shakespeare, Cary Grant, and John Paul II. And Johnny, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, those would be, those would be, would be interesting, yes. Right. Three white and men I w- 
And I wouldn't have to speak because they would just all... You're very worried about talking. Talk among, well, they would talk amongst themselves. And it you would be want a, to be a part in this historical meeting? I mean, you've got three well, I, people from history. You're not going to say shit? You're just going to serve them French fries? <laughs> and mashed potato. Yeah, potato's done nine different ways. Yeah, potato's done three ways. Now, William, <laughs> you've not touched your potato skins. <laughs> and then I'm got so apple. sorry, Pam. That's something that I've absolutely messed up doing. This is how we've spoken this time. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> and enjoy that because then we've got apple crumple for pudding. Oh, I've never been that apple crumble. <laughs> um, all right, I think we'll, we won't do any pictures today, Mum, if that's all right. And we'll just go through. We've got a couple more questions. Is that all right? No. Yeah, this is we'll perfect. Do, we'll do some pictures next week. Um, yeah. Okay, this is a serious one, but I'm curious what you would say to this. What is the best approach to help my girlfriend when she goes through periods of severe depression? I feel so help, and you cannot say go next door and get the doctor. Okay, I feel so helpless, and she says she wants to cry and sleep, and I don't know what to do. I just try to be supportive and tell her that I'm here for her if she needs me, but I feel useless. Oh, that's a shame. Fix I think that would- lady. Yeah, you're more qualified to um, to deal with that because I'm. I well, just why am I more qualified? Well, um, I, d- I don't know what you do really. I, I you would I, just. I think the truth is that be supportive, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's a very hard position to be in because yeah. for for the most part, you are kind of useless, you know. Yes. And so your role is to. I think I've always found that you know when trying to like with when with men you know you'll be like you need to do this you need to do that i've i've found that a lot of times with women i've been in relationships with it's not about fixing everything it's not about logistically coming up with a plan to fix everything it's about kind of having the emotional bandwidth to help when needed and fill in gaps where you can and just be a reminder of things are that things are okay and that things are going to be okay. And that, you know, time is, you know, time is the only thing you can really have on your side to get through something. And as difficult as it may be, I mean, it's, it's almost like when, you know, when you, if you break an arm or something, you know, it's not, you cannot expect it to be over when you want it to be over. You have to expect to put a little work into it and then, you know, even if you're not fully repaired at the end of it, you've learned something and you're, you know, you're healed enough to keep, to keep going because it, it can be so hard. And I think right now it can be such a particularly hard time. I think right now people who probably don't normally suffer bouts of depression do. And, you know, I mean, so it's, but it's a hard role. I mean, it's a, it's I, th- I think, I think as well, something, um, which I suppose is, a, would be my way of doing it would be, um, but you can't do this at the moment. It would be, come on, let's go shopping or let's go and let's go to the beach and stay the night in a hotel. Let's go and have a facial, you know, let's do. I think that's a good tactic for sure. One that you have to be prepared to be shot down for and not take it personally. If the person's like, I'm not doing anything, but yeah, I no. think that's good. You know, I mean, yes, of course. I think doing yes. something. I think those are practical solutions, aren't they? They're practical solutions. Mm, but also to li- just listen, be a good listener. Yes, I think. Mm. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. How do you feel about <laughs> Garfi's wonderful Irish accent on the dollop? How do you feel about the accents I do in general? My guess is that you would think, well, why don't you tell me? Um, I think they're good. I think, I, think they're, I think they're very good. I think you do some good accents. I don't know whether I've heard you do Irish much. Um, we stopped doing it because the Irish got so offended. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, because they said it wasn't good. Well, Dave's is a lot of potatoes. Dave's is like, potatoes, potatoes, you know. And I'll be like, no, that's right. We've got to go over there and do that. So it's like that. Try that. Here we go. There we go to Scrumpin because we got our whaley boots from downtown Starbridge. And he'll be like, potatoes. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, I think that, like, it's very hard to do a lot of accents. And it's hard to keep them all sharp, especially on, like, the podcast where... I don't know if I'm going to need to do one or not, or if it'll come up or it won't, you know. Um, but they, I, we, I, I did notice, I think yeah. I said that to you the other yeah. day when you were doing My a Brummie, yeah. and then you went into London. I did yeah. notice that. Yes. It's, it got yeah. sloppy. I agree. It got sloppy. Yeah. 
Um, yes. Okay, mom. Uh, what this is, I think this will be the last one. Right. Um, well, here, we'll do two more. Would you rather fight a hundred duck sized horses or one horse sized duck? One horse sized duck or a hundred. I'd do the one. You'd rather fight one horse sized duck. I think yes. that's the right answer. Yes, yeah, because I'm thinking of Graham the Goose. That's honestly what I was thinking of too. Yes, yes. I would um I would fight him. You would fight him. What would be your yeah. first what would be your first tactic in fighting a goose? What would be the first move? Uh, well, I walk by him and he's really snappy. Honestly, so so when you see let's his say, teeth, let's I, say you had to, let's say you had to fight back. Uh, what would be the first thing you'd do? Um, you know, the first thing I'd do. I try to grab a stick and hit him with a stick. If I really had to defend myself about, so I'd grab it by the neck. Would you? Yeah, it's kind of ropey. Feels like there's a lot. You know, you yeah. can do a lot with that line. Yes. Yes. I wouldn't want yeah. to. This is if push came to shove. Um, no. Okay, this is our last one, and I really yes. like. Um, what pasta shape best represents your personality? <laughs> so, if you were a pasta shape, what would you be? <laughs> so funny. Um, ooh. So yeah. I, I think. Do you think a shell? One of those shell ones. <laughs> I do think you'd be a shell. I think I would. Do you? And I'd be in the middle of it, like crawling out into the field. Wait, wait. <laughs> like that. <laughs> wait. So you're not. Those, I think no. what they were pitching was that you were actually a piece of pasta. You are, I think, taking it that you are somehow hermit crabbing a pasta shell and you are That's just right. living yes. inside of a little pasta shell, which is. <laughs> Adorable. Uh, One of those big conch shells, you know, and I just. Well, no, you're not in a shell. You're in pasta. Let yeah, me like in, this. And what are you looking at when you do that? I'm looking at people's feet going by. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. This is absolutely bananas. What an amazing ending. Um, it's insane. Yeah, it, it, I, you're not allowed to say that. You said it. Um, <laughs> well, good. Well, great. Well, that was some questions. We'll do another one of these. We'll do another one of these in a few weeks, maybe. This was fun. This you was, like yeah. this? I like the theme. I like when we have themes. I know you do. But we can't, we're not yeah. going to have a theme every week. So you need to be prepared for some okay. of them will just be chatting and pictures. Okay. Okay. Well, I, d I did actually have a bit of a theme with my pictures, but I'm not doing it because it'll do for another time. But I did actually. And that'll be the theme for the next one. The yes. Pictures. You'll disappear for the next one. Well, yes, but we'll, we'll have to think of something else as well. It'll be nice. Sure. It'll be lovely. It'll be lovely. Yeah. Yes, uh, that's any cool. stand updates you want to promote? Uh, any podcasts you'll be appearing on soon? Anything like that? You want to plug your Twitter? No. Your Instagram? Was, no Are you on Snapchat? You? Do you do TikTok? T is that that dancing one? Yes. No. Oh, no. you don't do that one. No. Uh, no. I thought you could do the scrump where you go. <laughs> do the scrump. Uh, all right, mommy. Potatoes. Yeah. Scrubbing the potatoes. Yeah. And then serving them from William Shakespeare and John Paul II. Yes, yes. He's a potato. Here you are, Shakespeare. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> um, all right, mommy. Well, love all to right. you. Yes. Good love work. To you. Yes. Uh, love, lovely questions. Thank you. They're very, very nice. I liked them. Good. Thank you for yeah. being, thank you for being the shell pam pasta we need. Your palm stuff. Yeah.